Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. I'm so excited for today's video. So today we are unboxing the Glamlight Chocolate Factory Foodie Box. So they had a whole bunch of like different holiday boxes and stuff, which were like a couple like exclusive items as well as like new stuff for the holiday season. I missed out on the first one which had like this really cute donut palette and everything was really red and they had some cute brushes and stuff in it. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the Glamlight Chocolate Factory one because I'm a huge Johnny Depp fan. He was in Charlie and Chocolate Factory. This says Chocolate Factory on it. I'm a simple person who has simple tastes. So I picked this up. It was $45 and then it was $5.99 shipping. So I ended up paying $50.99 for this and I'm really excited. So it's finally here. It got delayed because USPS has been really out of line a little bit from the holiday season. And without any further ado, guys, we're going to dive running into it. If you want to see what's in the box, of course, it is on their website. But I just wanted to see what these look like in person and probably give some swatches. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. I'm really excited, honestly. I've been waiting for this. It was supposed to be delivered days ago, but, you know. All right. Oh, here's the inside of the box. Little cute donut, little chocolate factory and stuff. There's a golden ticket on top. So first thing here, I see is a Glam Light golden ticket, just like the movie. It says Holiday 2020 Place Glam Light Chocolate Factory. Admit one foodie. That is so cute. And on the back of it, because it's so shiny, I'm just going to read it. It says, congratulations, foodie. You are the recipient of the Glam Light golden ticket, which gives you exclusive access to the ultimate chocolate experience. In this box, you will find the most decadent and delicious chocolate treats ever. Welcome to the Glam Light Chocolate Factory from Giselle, who is the owner of Glam Light. She's also beautiful, and you should follow her on Instagram. Let's go ahead. I'm so excited. So here's the inside up close. Firstly, let's start off with this little donut pair of lashes here. So this little pair of donut lashes is just called donut lashes. And, ooh, okay, so it's a full style. A style I would wear, it would be more flary. These are very consistent. But this is what the pair of lashes look like up close. They are cute. I do like the fullness. I just need something with a little more flair to it instead of like consistently all the way around. But these are cute. It's always hard to tell if I'm going to like Glam Light lashes until I have them in person. I bought so many of the lashes that I just did not like at all. And then there's a couple like Deep Dish, which is my like my pride and joy favorite pair of lashes from Glam Light. I love and they don't look like lashes I love. So in person they look so much different than they do online. Just in my own personal opinion. Next up is the Choco Lash. These are cute. Again, very uniform in shape. But I just like this, I just, I don't know. They have a good shape to these. I love all this like chocolate fun stuff up there. Fun fact, I don't actually like chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I'll eat it in like a Reese cup or like on a Butterfinger, which is like a thin layer of it. But if it's like a chocolate bar, just chocolate, I'm not there for that. Next up, we do have a chocolate bar pair of lashes in here though. So this is the chocolate candy bar. This is what the packaging looks like, which is just super cute on the back of it. The nutrition facts say 100% synthetic and um, they're all handcrafted 3D lashes. And then here is the style. These are so small. Let me put my hand behind it so you can see it, but these are so thin, but they have a good like lightness to them. I feel like a lot of people would actually wear these a ton more so than the other styles. However, I do like um, lashes like these where I can see the lashes without having to open the box because you know, I have a whole drawer of lashes and I don't have to open every box to know what style it is. Next up in here is our first makeup product other than lashes. We have our three pairs of lashes already. And this is the product that really suckered me into buying this, honestly. Even though the more I saw of it, the more I think this is not going to work my skin tone. But we're going to see. And it is their S'mores Highlight and Contour Palette. I've never, never had a highlight and contour palette, I don't think. Are you kidding me? I just cut the box and it didn't... Okay. <laughs> I was like, I just cut the box and I didn't even cut the plastic off. So here's the packaging for the S'mores palette which is super super cute has like a like a light gold highlight as well as a darker highlight and then a matte bronzing kind of shade it's called chocolate marshmallows and graham crackers which fits for s'mores and then oh it's so cute look it looks like a graham cracker isn't that cute huh it's cute okay so here's the ooh yeah that bronzer is way too warm for me here is the s'mores palette. Look, it has like the marshmallow and chocolate on the inside. That is so, this package is so cute. I would love this highlight shade. This looks um, a little tart for me, so does these, but I'm gonna swatch them anyway, so. Swatching the chocolate bronzer shade, the marshmallow highlights. Give it another swatch, give it a little extra. And then I'll use this finger for the graham cracker gold highlight. So here's what they look like. 
they're out of order swatched, but here are the three shades swatched out. This definitely is too warm for me, unfortunately. The highlights look really pretty, though. I might be able to use this one as like a highlight topper, just not my base highlight. This I can use all the time. All right, next up in here is a big thing. Then we have two lip products underneath. So this is the biggest thing, like the star of the palette, or the box, I should say, which is the palette. So this is the Chocolate Donut Palette from Glam Light. I have their pizza palettes. I have their cake palette. I have their... It was after the cake palette. Another palette from the... Oh, it was like the ice cream truck palette. But I don't have any of their like weird shape palettes. I don't have their pizza or their burgers or anything. Well, I do have their pizza. I don't have their burgers or taco or anything like that. Or their big paint swatch things. So this is my first like weird shaped palette from Glam Light. It's not just a flat palette. So this is what the inside looks like. It's squishy, which is weird. That's the back of the box. I just have a picture of donut. This is... Ugh, that's a lot of fragrance of plastic. But yeah, here's this. It's a little squishy. And then here is the ooh inside of the palette. I love their shimmery shades. Glamoury has the most beautiful, shimmery, metallic, beautiful shades in here. This is the Chocolate Donut Palette. Up close so I can get the focus on it. In here we just have so many bronzy shades. We have a little bit of a warm tone red, a little bit of an orange, some kind of cooler tones here. These just look super, super pretty. These are really different shades of chocolate. Honestly, it's pretty accurate. And it's like their first nudes palette, I believe. I haven't really seen anything nude from Glam Like They're very exorbitant and extra, but this is the donut, chocolate donut palette. Cute. I'm gonna use swatches of this one. Actually, let's go ahead and do the swatches. So I'm just gonna swatch four shades, two matte, two shimmers. I did sweet filling and double chocolate for the mattes. And then I did marble and white chocolate, these two for the shimmery shades. So let's just swatch them on my hand. They're usually pretty consistent in their quality here. Um, so here are these swatches. Again, two mattes, two shimmers. I love how pinky this one, this white chocolate shade kind of reflects. And this one is just super, super pigmented for the other shimmer. So honestly, beautiful. And I'm not surprised at all by that because honestly, they have amazing shadows. I haven't had any issues with Glenlight shadows, I don't think. Other than the fact that the ham shade in the pizza slice palette, the Meat Lovers pizza slice, never wants to leave my lid. That sucker wants to stay. And lastly, we have two lip products, which I probably will not use. I'll probably end up putting them on my Depop or something because they're not liquid lipsticks. I need the matte liquid lipsticks. My highlight looks good as sh today. <laughs> but anyways, so we have the hot chocolate lips as well as these s'mores. So here's the packaging for both of the lip products right here. They're really cute. I'm gonna give you a look at what both of these look like. This one's the hot chocolate. If I can get it out. Eh, help. Help. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a really pretty color though. Is this a gloss? It doesn't say if it's a gloss or not. I assume they're both glosses. I think they're both glosses, but this color is beautiful. It's kind of cool toned, a very pretty brown color. This is beautiful. I'm gonna check their website and see if it's a gloss. If it's not, I'm wearing it. Next up, these s'mores, which I feel like these two products have been on their website for a while, especially the s'mores one. I feel like I've seen it, but the, the s'mores palette I hadn't seen before. Yeah, this one's definitely a gloss. I can see how sparkly wet it is in here, but this is just a dark brown with a little bit of sparkle in there. It looks a little more on the red side too. So these are the two lip products we have from the Glam Light box. And now let's go over everything that we got. So we have two full size lip products and s'mores and hot chocolate. We have an exclusive, like never released before, donut, donut chocolate palette, chocolate donut palettes. We have a first ever little s'mores highlight and contour palette, which I really wish this wasn't such a warm tone. Eve, I feel like it's gonna be like hard for a lot of people to wear just that color, but like the highlights are beautiful and this packaging kills me, it's so cute. We also have a golden ticket as well as three different eye uh, eyelash styles. So overall, I think I'll get the most use out of the donut palette probably. I love their shimmer so much and the tones are really easy to use. And if I find out that hot chocolate shade turns out to be a liquid lipstick, I'm all over that too. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'll keep my golden ticket. Um, also, fun fact, I was in a play in high school for Charlie, Choc Charlie and Chocolate Factory, and I played uh, Grandma Georgina. They wouldn't let me play Violet Beauregard, even though I was blonde with like the exact haircut and everything. 
because they give that to the seniors and I was only a junior or sophomore at the time. Sophomore, junior. I think I was a sophomore. Um, so I wanted to be Violet, but I ended up being Grandma Georgina. And uh, my boyfriend at the time and I were in that play together. So that was a fun experience for a while. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you have not seen my new episode of my Crimax podcast, my true crime podcast, we're talking about the life and death of Phil Hartman, a comedian who was a center point of SNL back in the 80s and 90s, as well as he was my favorite Christmas movie, which is Jingle All the Way. So if you haven't seen that, my podcast is linked down below. We stream on every platform and we have a YouTube version as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.